Okay, so where does Docker Model Runner sort of fit into the equation here? What is it actually doing? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. It's it's doing a number of things. Um, one of the things that kind of used to be quite difficult in the early days of AI was just just configuring your hardware setup, like. Um, how many layers do I want to send to GPU? Do I want to use CUDA, Rockham, Vulkan? There's a whole list of um, kind of GPU level ab abstractions you can pick from mm -hmm. and uh, configurations you can do. And that, that actually gets quite complex and it can be a bit hardware independent mm -hmm. or hardware dependent. Uh, <laughs> so one of the things it does, it kind of abstracts all that complexity away from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can run OpenAI compatible servers, which is basically the gold standard for um, um, AI inferencing. And then, yeah, you can spin up your local LLMs to do like chat GPT type things or other things. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's kind of appealing is there's certain registries that have become quite popular mm -hmm. for um, pulling AI models. One example would be Hugging Face. Mm -hmm. uh, one, Uh, uh, did I, did my Discord crash? What happened here? Discord? <laughs> Are we having tech issues on my side now? Okay, um, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Yeah, okay, my entire Discord crashed. Lovely. Discord decided to crash, but we should be, yeah, we're recording again. Okay, so you're talking about how there is a popular place to get AI models, that being Hugging Face, and that's where I disconnected. Yeah, so um, so Hugging Face is is a very cool repo. It's like one of the main ones from pulling uh for pulling AI models, like Meta and all the companies interested in AI. That'll be normally one of the places they will um store models. Even though Docker Hub's starting to get popular as well, but that's kind of a, a new player. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things about Hugging Face, as far as I know, um, and I could be wrong because I don't work from, for Hugging Face, but, but typically the only way to pull from Hugging Face is over the public internet. Mm. So one of the things I, at least I think is cool about Docker Model Runner is we, you can pull from Hugging Face. But it like immediately stores it in kind of a container like format. Mm. So once you get once you pull it via Docker Model Runner, you have freedom then because once it's in that format, you can push and pull it to kind of like anywhere, any of those OCI registries. Right. So you sort of you bring it in and then it's sort of you're not directly tied into that that hugging face sort of ecosystem anymore. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And and you might always want to pull from Hugging Face, but that's fine. And that's fine if you do, but you can do that with Docker Model Runner, but we give you the freedom to push and pull to other places also, mm -hmm. you know. So Hugging Face is like the main one. Are there other ones that people do tend to get models from? There are. Um, th there's another popular place that I'm sure many of are aware of, I'm sure many people are aware of, mm -hmm. uh, like there's one called Olama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Olama can be a little bit controversial because one of the things they've done is GGUF is kind of standard created by Lama CPP mm -hmm. and registries like um, Hugging Face and the and Docker Hub just use vanilla Lama CPP to be friendly to the community. And so we're all on the same page and and <laughs> and all uh, reading from the same hymn sheet and, you know, combining our engineering efforts, um, mm -hmm. having some sort of a standard. I tend to steer clear from Olama <laughs> in conversations because Olama also used GGUF, mm -hmm. but they've changed the format of GGUF. Right recently so it's only compatible if you use the olama engine mm -hmm. which isn't kind of very community friendly but look that's the way they decided to do things so right right i typically not 
tend not to use it as a great example. Okay, no, that makes sense. So you, there's sort of this, I guess, over time, div- was it a standard that was sort of developed naturally or was it a standard that was, like, provided? Like, how how did this this format that people are using actually come about, if you happen to know the origin? I, I, I do know the origin because I know the creator. Um, this standard was one of those things... It, there wasn't like really a standardization committee mm-hmm. or anything like that. There's a guy, Georgie. He has a really hard to pronounce second name. <laughs> but Georgie is a genius. He's the creator of uh, Lama CPP. Mm-hmm. And his initials are GG. Mm-hmm. So, um, so the, yeah, GGUF, the uh, two first letters are GG. Uh, so it's it's kind of... Gurganov? I'm... Sorry, I'm, if you happen to see this, I don't know how to pronounce your name either. Yeah, Georgi Gorgonov, let's call it that. <laughs> it's funny because I know the guy. I should have really asked him how to pronounce his last name. But um, yeah, he, he basically created it for Lama CPP. And Lama CPP is, is a pretty amazing project. It's it's a bit technical now. That's it's It can be a bit hard to use, even though it's, it's improving. But um, it has amazing hardware support. Mm-hmm. And that's basically um, the the file format they came up with, mm-hmm. and it's quite useful actually, and it's quite simple because they just put everything into one file that you download. Mm-hmm. Um, so it just kind of organically kind of became one of the standards. It's not the only one, but it's one of them. Yeah. So everyone just kind of agreed. It kind of makes sense to have a standard that everyone works with, rather than just all doing these weird different things and having this compatibility nightmare where no one can really share things around. It makes a lot more sense from an engineering perspective to just agree on this basic thing and then try to differentiate in other ways so that the core functionality is still there. Yeah, exactly. And there, and there are there are other competing uh model formats which are just as popular like mm-hmm. there's another safe tensors format which is typically used at vllm mm-hmm. but the reason what gguf is really popular is for lama cpp usage mm-hmm. so that's kind of the right. standard for let's say desktop and edge devices mm-hmm. right now okay 